You're an Apple Photos user and want to share your whole photo library. But how do you do that? Well, you use Apple Photos shared library function. If you've ever wanted to easily share your photos with family and friends, this feature is a game changer. I'll walk you through setting it up, using it, and we'll also discuss the pros and cons of using Apple Photos shared libraries. What is Apple Photos shared library? First, let's talk about what Apple Photos Shared Library is. It's a feature that allows you to create a separate photo library that can be shared with up to five people. This is perfect for families or close friends who want to have a collective album of memories. Everyone in the Shared Library can view, add and edit photos, making collaboration super easy. Setting up Apple Photos Shared Library. Now, obviously, if you are going to use Apple Photo Shared Library, you need to have an Apple device or at the very least an Apple ID. Obviously. Step one, update your software. Before you start, make sure your iPhone, iPad or Mac is updated to the latest version of iOS. This ensures that you have the latest features and security updates. Step two, open Apple Photos. Then open your Apple Photos app on your device. Go to Photos in the menu and select Settings. Then go to the Shared Library tab. Select to get started. Then you can add your participants. Don't worry if you want to add more people later, you can, but remember you're limited to only five. Use their Apple ID and then select Continue. Then you can choose how you want to share. You can choose to manually select everything and then go through which photos you want to share. You can choose by people or date. So select particular moments with particular people or you can select all your photos and videos. But don't worry, you can preview what you're going to share before you press go. Just make sure you are happy and then select continue to send an invite via a text or just to copy the link. Then you are done using Apple Photos Shared Library. But how do you use the Shared Library? To access the Shared Library, go to the toggle in the top left of the screen and you can go between the Shared Library, your personal library or see both at the same time. Now, if you've shared everything, you won't need to add new stuff. But if you have selectively decided what someone can see in the shared library, to add a new photo, simply select the photo you want to add, do your secondary click, so a right click or a double tap, and select to add to shared library. It is that easy. Then you can go to the shared library view and see your newly shared photo. And if you want to do any changes or edits, you can do it as you normally would and any changes made will be visible by all the members. This makes it perfect for collaborative projects or just sharing memories with loved ones. The pros and cons of using Apple Photos Shared Library. Before you go through all that setup, it's worth knowing a few pros and cons. The pros. First, it's incredibly easy to set up and use. The seamless integration with Apple devices means you don't need to download any additional apps or learn any new software. Second, it's great for collaboration. Whether you're planning a family event or working on a creative project, everyone can contribute and access the photos. Third, it keeps your personal library separate. You can choose what to share and what to keep private, which is a nice touch. The cons. On the downside, it is limited to Apple devices. If some of your friends and family are non-Apple device users, they won't be able to join the shared library. And if you want full control of what you are sharing, you are still going to have to do some work to share the photos, like you have to with shared albums. Another con is the limit of five members. For large groups, this could be a bit restrictive. Lastly, while everyone can edit photos, it means changes made by one person affect everyone's view. This can sometimes lead to accidental deletions or unwanted edits. You have been warned. And there you have it. Apple Photos Shared Library is a fantastic tool for sharing and collaborating on photos with your loved ones. Do you want to have a bit of a clear up of your Apple photos before you start sharing? Then check out this other video here. If you found this video helpful, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.